So you proposed from the first time you met her, the yes, first of, date? Yes, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Just for a few seconds, I, I um, uh, had a chance to see the photo of, of uh, Jana in the computer. So I saw the photo of Jana, I fell in love with her. And you, you, it was incredible. You said, I only want to meet Jana. Of course. And she was away in Moscow, right? And yes. You couldn't yes. meet her for 10 days, but you just wait and hung out in Kiev and you didn't want to meet any other ladies. That's correct. It, um, what a romantic story. Yes, really. yes, yes. My life changed very, yes. very fast On because I wanted, yes. Carlos, thank you for talking to me today. It's a pleasure. Nice to talk with you. Joseph. You have the most incredible Hollywood caliber love story, I gotta tell you. <laughs> and you have the record uh, what time from meet to marriage in Do our I? agency. I, I didn't know. If One we, month. Right? You met on April 11th and married uh, May 11th, yeah? Yes, we met on April 11th and we got married on May 11th. Uh -huh. You're so fast, you probably watched 60 minutes and 30 minutes. I mean, you are fast. Uh, yes. <laughs> so that's, that's my first question to you, Carlos. How, like I know you've had a journey. You've been to Ukraine many times to find your half. Yes. You spent a whack of money, have a lot of lessons to teach guys in this video, which we really appreciate you sharing uh, to help them avoid the landmines. Um, so yeah, just love to hear your, your love story. Um, and my big question is how did you, you know, how did you know that she was the one? We all know what I we're looking for inside of us. Uh, we have to hear our own voices inside of us. Uh, you have to listen your heart and um, when you find the right features and uh, from physical aspects um, passing through emotional from uh, I don't know um, uh, family uh, configuration then you feel confident and you feel you can feel sure about that this is what you are looking for in your life I yeah. think yeah right I agree. Yeah. Obviously, you just really knew, and you're you're a man of action. Yes, you weren't we, gonna let her get away. Yes, we move. Uh, we move <laughs> since the very first meeting. We mm -hmm. started to date seriously. Actually, I proposed her since the very first meeting uh, to get married with me, and she didn't say no. So after some time, we we decided to go to Mexico together, and and I proposed her to get married in Mexico, and. And we did, we got married in Playa del Carmen. I guess you, you heard about that yeah, place. Yeah, I've is, been to Playa. Uh, yeah. 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 Playa del Carmen is romantic. The, we got married just in the office of the, of the um, judge, of the civic judge, which, uh -huh. is, which was not very, <laughs> not very romantic because not not very nice place, but anyway. You sent us the videos, thank you. Yes, yeah. yes, a little video. Yeah, you little, know? little short video. Uh, so. But we are... Uh, we, we will make a, a better party, of course. Once we are already back in Mexico, everything will be ready, we'll be prepared, and we, we will make a, uh, an average party. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Very good, very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, um, I came to the agency 10 days before, no, like 15 days before I met her, and um, I was planning to, to go back to Mexico uh, on um, the first day of April, but um, Olga told me that uh, Jana was not available to meet me because he, she was in Moscow. She went to to Moscow because some kind of work. So I said, "Shall I stay ten more days to wait, or twelve, or fifteen days more?" I know, and we tried Ukraine. to talk you into seeing other ladies, yes. right? But no, you're like, no, "No, no, I only want to meet what, Jana." What will I do? Ten or, or twelve days just alone in Ukraine and doing nothing? Okay, I'll wait. Let's see what happens. So I found a way to spend my days reasonably productive, doing work, and I went to visit some friends to the S, and whatever. I invent, I invented something. I canceled my flight to go back to Mexico. So to wait for Yana. Yes, I was not even sure that she was willing to meet me. You know, because um, uh, that Yana sent uh, Yana my profile, but uh, Yana was not able to see my profile because she had no internet in in, in Moscow, and uh, so she came back. Uh, it was on mo some Sunday in the night. Uh, I think it was, it was April 10 when she came back to, to Ukraine. 
and I was of course willing to know what the result of the, of the she was she would say yes or not to meet me okay mm -hmm. and I was calling Tatiana all the time are you working now no I'm off work <laughs> so I had to wait until Monday and when I, when I received the message from Tatiana confirming it that effectively she Tatiana, said yes yeah uh, yes she said, she'll uh, meet you so I had to drive immediately I don't know how many kilometers I thought it would, it would be a short drive but no it was a lot of kilometers in a very bad road so I arrived very late and <laughs> wasn't able to meet uh, that day Yana but we postponed the meeting for the meeting for the next day which was okay and um, so I can tell you that um, yes of course um, since the first, uh, very first moment that I saw the photo of Yana, I knew that um, she has a feature, uh, physical features that I was looking for, and it was impossible because of of the way she gazes, uh, the way she expresses, all what she wrote that she was not a good heart, you know. And I confirmed that she's a great heart, and uh, so I fell in love. But at a glance, I can tell you, mm -hmm. and. Of course, I, I'm prepared and I'm willing to make a family. I'm willing to make a, really a decision to get married and, and get committed, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I did. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank That's you. very, very exciting uh, Thank love you. story yes. that you have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I understand you had quite a journey to get here, though. You went with many other agencies in Ukraine and you had some letdowns. Yeah, um, um, I normally mixed. Um, I, I come often to Ukraine because of business. My business is about real estate, and my advice, I'm a uh, advisor of a real estate company, and um, so I make sure um, business with the chance to meet some some potential wife. And of course, I have some uh, very painful disappointments with other agencies. It, it makes no sense to comment about its names, but they are online even now. You said you spent what north of how much you think on this journey? Mm, I to spent I young? spent time. I spent energy. I spent um, uh, heart diseases. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Heart, heart, heart diseases. Uh -huh. Yeah, you you see yeah, you, heart, you get disappointed. Heart, heartbreak. And of yeah. course, a lot of money. I cannot uh, exactly divide how much I have spent about um, traveling in journeys to for business and and to look for the right one and the right woman to get married with but at least f over fifty thousand dollars yes uh -huh. at least at least just for looking for your half not the business mm -hmm. part at least. At, yes. least at yes. least at least yes at least so if you could share kind of your tips to the western man first like yeah, i know you had some hard situations uh where you got taken to the cleaners um maybe <laughs> maybe if you could share your experience so that the western, western man can have an idea what he needs to do to avoid these landmines, these bad agencies. Yes, um, in my case, I had no much time to look for them, for the right person, and so I had no chance to go to the normal place where it's supposed that you can meet the right person. I mean, I can I, I had short time, and um, so I found that the, um, the agency is a good idea if you find the right agency and if the agency is um, is honest um, at least if you start to date with a woman that you find in an agency uh, provides you some information um, which is very useful to get to know if it is potential wife or not because you have a profile mm -hmm. and um, you know that at least that woman with whom you will start to date is willing or not to make a serious relationship, you know, so there's nothing wrong. That's the idea of yes. going to an agency. Yes, yes, is that's the idea. Serious so, women looking for ultimately yes. marriage. So if the agency is honest, it's a good decision to work with an agency, definitely. So how do you find a good agency and like what, what happened in well, your situation? I found uh, your agency just by chance. Uh, so I got inside of the office of the agency of your agency just by chance and they showed me the website and I saw the photo of Jana and uh, who is now my, my wife mm -hmm. and uh, I fell in love with that, with that woman mm -hmm. and uh, I realized that 
she has the features that I am looking for. Uh, of course, I did the study her profile, or all, all what he wrote about herself, which is useful information and that you normally don't get from a woman that you meet in the street. You know? Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I had. Um, I had to wait for a long while until she came back from Moscow and uh, I was kind of desperated because I didn't even have the, uh, the definitely uh, answer from her about if she was willing to meet me or not. But I wait uh, a few days more, 15 days more, and finally I had the chance to meet her. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's yes. awesome. What happened with the other agencies? Um, that mm. uh, What happened to you, and most importantly, mm. tips of how the Western man can avoid? For, for example, um, I will tell you, I was introduced with, um, with some girl, and um, after some time, I realized that, that this girl with whom I was introduced um, was, in fact, um, married, you know, <laughs> because she wrestled to be, bounty. yes, she wrestled to be the sister of uh, the friend of a friend. So um, we had the chance to meet in some social uh, situation mm -hmm. and I realized about that and I paid for that meeting and I paid for, you know, all, all the the, um, the fees of the agency and it was fake, it was uh, um, a scam, you know, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Of course they charge you with uh, payment of uh, not only the fee but also translation services mm -hmm. and um, pay for the taxi. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that that business exists, that agency exists, it's, really, it's in Kiev, I know the address, I don't, I forgot right now. Mm -hmm. But sadly, a lot of agencies have married women. They don't care. All you have to do is look at their passport, shows right on their passport, their marital status. The agency just doesn't care. And Correct. that's a rampant problem in this industry, along with a, a lot of other scam yes, problems. Yes, yes. Professional scammers that mm -hmm. are absolutely right, mm -hmm. yes. So, um, the first advice is be aware, find an honest agency, skilled people, reliable uh, managers, and um, mm -hmm. Um, work with honest people, mm. be aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever, yes, whenever um, a girl uh, starts to ask you for money, for a taxi, or for, for presents, so be aware, there is something strange. You yeah. can start to be generous after some meetings and after some um, time when you are sure that that woman is not willing just to get money and yeah. not to be a scammer. Yeah, it's a great tip, Carlos, because if Correct. she's asking for even taxi money up front, yes. good the, Ukrainian girl yes. is humble, modest. Yes. She doesn't yes. do that. Correct. She doesn't uh, ask you for any presents or money. or She mm -hmm. doesn't choose lavish restaurants. Correct. She's very modest and frugal. Whenever, right? yes, it's not, uh, there are no recipes, but there mm. are some hints, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. If women are interested about to go only to fancy uh, uh, restaurants, fancy places, to spend money, to get presents, be aware, something is not correct, yeah. something is wrong. Uh, there is an industry of scammers, I know, I have experienced that in, in Ukraine, because, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful women, and they are attractive, it's difficult to say no, but um, it sometimes it's better to be tough at the beginning and get rid of uh, nonsense relationships, no, nonsense uh, fake relationships, than to continue with something that will right. no go further. Right. So what do you think? Who, who comes to Ukraine? What kind of man comes to Ukraine and makes it happen, and finds his other half here? What kind of man does that? What's your thoughts? Um, a man who loves adventure, <laughs> who doesn't mind to... <laughs> Ganesha, to face, uh, yes, of course. A man it's who, an adventure? Uh, is, yes. it, is it a weak man or a strong man? A strong man, has to be a strong man, definitely. Only strong men, yes, of course, yeah. yes. Yeah. And, uh, I agree with you. People, who, men who doesn't mind about to experience um, different culture, uh, some disappointments, uh, so spend yeah. money, energy, yes, yeah. Yeah. not anyone. They want to be fought for in this country, don't they? They, yeah. they want the man to be chivalrous, to buy flowers, open the door, yes. be a gentleman, be a strong man, and come after her. They never come to you, right? They, Correct. You need to pursue them and you need to conquer. They want to be conquered. 
That's correct. Right? In, in a gentlemanly way, right? That's correct. Right. It has been very, very nice to talk with you, a real pleasure. And I am very thankful with, uh, with your agency. Uh, thanks to your agency, I found uh, the love of my life. Yes. Uh, we already, um, we, we will soon have our first child within some few, man, f- few, few months. Uh-huh. Yeah, congratulations <laughs> yes. on that one, too. That's, that's so exciting. That's and very nice. your old papa for the first time. Of course. Right? The first time. Oh, mm-hmm. that's so, I, I, so I'm exciting. very happy. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations <laughs> okay. again, and thank, thank you. you very much, Carlos, Thanks to you for talking to okay. me. Okay.